Tony Tracy to wonder, Trina, Tim Martin, Miss E. Will teach you a thing or two. Braxton Family Values. Braxton Family Values, darlings. Okay. Next week is the season finale. Um. Okay. It have been. I guess 26 episodes in the season, season 6. Is there going to be a season 7? Because it, look, it looks like season 6 is going to end badly. Um, oh, Tracy and Tay Party back into it again. It's exhausting at this point. I would rather the sisters just stop the show to try to save their their sisterhood. Um, but I don't know. I think that it's, it's, um, I, a lot of eyes are opening up for Tracy in all areas. I think she's seeing a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot to it, but we're going to get into it, but we're definitely going to get into it next week to see, um, all the tea and everything that's going down. Um, it, it's unfortunate. I'll say that, that this is, um, happening you know especially happening this way um but yeah let's get into it okay this episode let me see mm, okay so tracy met up with sean at the studio y'all know that he's a producer he met sorry tawanda met up with sean at the studio um he's a producer her boyfriend and they met way back when i think they said 1993 um, and you know he was one of the producers on their album The Braxtons which I think came out in 96 and you know it was just reminiscing you know going back down memory lane like Minnie Ripperton and um say come on Minnie come on Minnie say back down memory lane so anyway um I ran across this photograph. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, they were doing their thing and talking. Um, you know, they're gonna there's gonna be a Napa Valley trip for um Tamar. Um and yeah. I didn't even realize while I was, you know, until uh Tracy's husband said it that um well actually Tracy said it herself that her birthday is this Napa Valley trip is right in between um it's it's right smack dab in the middle between Tamar's birthday and Tracy's birthday so I was thinking the whole time they actually was going up to the Napa Valley trip on Tamar's actual birthday but apparently they said it was like in between so I'm assuming that it was maybe a little after Tamar's birthday and then a little bit before Tracy's birthday however it was explained but anyway at least in my family if birthdays are well sometimes I, I know as you become an adult <coughs> things change whatever you want your own birthday etc even as kids but to save money to save a coin especially going to a place that is as expensive and nice as Napa Valley um I don't understand the harm in, in having both of y'all birthdays together. Yeah, all y'all had y'all husbands there. Y'all can all still go off and have your own separate romantic situation. But in terms of everybody being there, why not just celebrate the birthdays together? Like, that was so weird to me. Anyway, so I was talking about that. Okay, um, so we get to Napa Valley. Um... No, it's not actually it's not weird to me now that I think about it because Tamar wants it to be all about her. So there you go. Um, let me see. Okay, then so they get to Napa Valley. Um, Tony arrives first. You know she's all suited up. Apparently the sun does something to her something to her skin. Um, but she arrived early so she could get the best room. Of course nobody's gonna argue at Tony or fault Tony for anything. Um, I. <sighs> We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um, so Tony got the best room, the biggest room, and of course Birdman's not going to show up and be there because you know he's Birdman and he wouldn't interact with the guys and all that kind of stuff anyway because you know I guess he think he's too cool 
or he don't you know he's a celebrity so maybe he don't want to interact with regular people or um, I don't know the reason to be honest but Birdman has barely been on camera I don't know what Birdman and Tony Braxton is doing and I don't care anymore to be honest with you uh, them people's is grown they've been grown for a long time so whatever if they don't if they get married I don't care if they don't get married I don't care and the sister shouldn't either child who cares um okay so yeah 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 that happened um Kevin pulled Vaughn off to the side um Tracy and her husband Kevin arrived together along with um, Vaughn and Trina. So Vaughn and Kevin, they're talking, and you know, they were just talking about the whole thing in terms of, um, you know, uh, Gabe being there for Trina while she wept over another man, which was Gabe. And, you know, he was just like, it was a little difficult for me, but, you know, I pushed through because, you know, it was the right thing to do. I was just like, well, you know, that's good. He talked a little bit, um, about it more in detail later on. Uh, let me see. Trina, Tracy, and Tony are sitting on the bed talking on Tony's bed, and you know she was just like she pretty much swore off um, relationships for a while. Um, she was just kind of over it. She was she you know uh, Trina was like I've been married twice now I've been divorced twice. I'm not really interested. And becoming somebody's wife again. Um, which is a lot to go through, you know, two marriages, two divorces, just like child, you get exhausted after time after a long time. She was just like if she tries it with Vaughn, this will definitely be the last time for sure with Vaughn. Um So yeah, I mean I you know, I'm not married, never been married, don't really want to get married. But um I can imagine you know that it is it's a whole lot to go through child because everyday life is just a whole lot to go through especially with somebody and then end up not working out you know and spent all this time with them all these years and created memories and babies and oh child uh let me see um tawanda she finally came with her man sean um i like sean i like all the husbands still don't i Husbands and boyfriends. Do I like them all? Yeah, I like them all. They're all good guys. They are. Um. So you know, uh, you know, she came. It was gushing over the rooms and all that. Now, mind you, Tony arrived first. Then Tracy and Trina arrived together. So they was able to pick the second best rooms. And then whatever's left over was left over for Tawanda and Tamar. They should have got there early. I don't know what to say. I don't understand why this whole thing wasn't set up better. Like, you know, it was a lot of complaining, mostly coming from Tamar. And I was just like, well, Tamar, why you just didn't show up earlier? If this was your birthday trip specifically for you, why did, did you not have a more hand in the plans on the schedules and what's going on? You know, this is your birthday trip, so you plan it the way that you want it to go. But, you know, you just just threw it out there and just expected, you know, uh, birds and giraffes and stuff in the yard when you showed up. Like, girl, please. And these women coming with their men, too, they ain't think about you. Oh, girl, the narcissism is just out of this world. Um, so, you know, they sat down and talked. Um, this is Tamar had arrived a little after Tawanda. She was going to people's rooms and tripping because she had the smallest room or one of the smallest rooms. It's free. Y'all didn't have to pay for it. Shut up. Like, hell, you got a bathroom in your room? That's my main thing. As long as I got a bathroom in my room or I only have to share my bathroom with, like, one other person, then I'm cool. Like, I am cool because I, I, I go to the bathroom a lot. Um, this is uh, my place of... um of peace, healing, calmness, and you know, I'm just always on the toilet, child. It's just always something coming out. So, um, that's it's, it's, it's a special place for me. Well, I feel it. Well, I feel I, I truly feel at home in the bathroom. And, um, 
That's why it's important for me to have a bathroom by myself. Okay. Um, but you know, I would rather share the bathroom with somebody else. Uh, you know, somebody I know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you know, if not, whatever. It's just as long as it's just one other person and not all these people in one bathroom, then that would be a problem. Just be like, oh, girl, no, this is over with. That's why I couldn't do reality show and stuff. It's just like, like being on the real world and all that. And a lot of times, like their um, the the stalls in there, the showers and everything, it's all see through and. They have like the toilets lined up right beside each other. It's just like no privacy. No, this is not jail. Why am I sitting here on the toilet pushing for dear life and somebody's sitting here looking at me with the door open? No, that's not festive. That's that's not. It's not something I want to indulge in, and I don't understand why nobody, why a lot of people don't see that as a problem. It's not. Normal going to the bathroom is normal, but you sitting here looking at me going to the bathroom. It's not Normal but Anyway, I ain't no little girl no more like come on Okay, so um, what else is going on? Y'all little got sidetracked Okay, so you know Tamar's tripping. She didn't like her room. Whatever. Whatever um So they all get to the first dinner Tony and Tracy arrive late, you know Tamar um was trying to figure out what she exactly what she said to uh, Tawanda. She was just like, "Why you ain't drinking for?" Um, you know, Tawanda. She she you know Tawanda likes to drink apparently, and um, she declined the offer from uh, David Tamar's man to drink. She didn't want nothing to drink, and so you know that's why Tamar asked her the question. They think Tawanda's pregnant. I don't think she's pregnant. Um. But if she is, I mean, congratulations and good luck. But my God, having a baby in your 40s. She's in her 40s, ain't she? Yeah. Child, please. I'm sure, I'm sure it's a lot to go through. But hell, if, if she is pregnant, then congratulations. Um, But she's not really saying anything. I think maybe she's hoping that she is. Maybe because Sean don't have any kids. So, I don't know. Um... So soon, Tracy and Tony came down there. It was a little late. Um, coming down there, um, David asked Tracy how did her and her husband met. Said they met at work. Um, whatever that means. Um, and, you know, they asked Tony. It was just like, Tony, how'd you and Birdman met? Oh, we actually met on the set. It was like on the set of what? I was like, you know, on the set of a music video, you know, that we worked on together. You know, just being in the industry, you know, we actually met at work, you know. Singing is my actual job. So, you know, that's how we actually met. I was just like, oh, Tony, well, where's your first kiss? Well, he actually likes to kiss me on the cheek a lot. <laughs> I was like, well, Tony, what about your first kiss? Like, what's going on? Like, where was it? Oh, I don't really remember. It's been so many kisses. And, you know, uh, they just kept asking Tony questions. And Tony said in her confessionals, I don't mind my sisters talking about their relationship. But I don't really want to talk about mine. I want to keep it to myself. Oh, girl. The dramatics of it all. Okay. Um, David, he, you know, he was talking. and just talking up a storm. Really trying to get to know the people. I like David. I think he's kind-hearted. And um, he going to say, you know, how he met... Tamar, which was at some um, function or whatever, a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend who knew each other. And um, allegedly, apparently, um, said that he did not know that she was black. Said when I first saw her, she had this long blonde hair. I did, did not know she was black. And, you know, the sisters just, you know, was just hooping and hollering. They thought that was so funny. And, um, I guess maybe, you know, he say he's originally from Nigeria whatever you know we're not gonna get on to we're not gonna get on the you know how some Africans and you know Islanders possibly not saying that he do but possibly may have you know um, views in terms of complexions and things and you know a lot of them tend to date outside their race or date people who you know are multiracial, biracial, etc. Because of, you know, um, 
certain things like you know self hate and how they was um, raised a certain way and things they was taught and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Not saying this is David's experience, but I'm just saying just in general because you know colorism and racism etc. It happens all over the world, not just here in the U.S. So. Yeah, I don't know if it was one of those kind of things. I don't know. He said he went. He was just. She was just so radiant, and you know, Tamar agreed. She looked so good that night, and whoop to whoop. Um. Okay. So, Tamar, you know, I remember I did a video months ago. But she was. What she say? She said she was mixed or something. I, no, Tamar's black. She just light skinned but Tamar's black child. Black and black and black and black and black. Um, okay, so do, 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 do. the next day, the girls are in a, um, you know, they're eating breakfast and stuff and chilling. Um, so they actually go to the winery, you know, the winery part of the winery. And, you know, um, they actually go wine tasting, um, with this guy, um, who was hosting. It was nice to see. Um, the wine looked real good. I ain't had no good wine in a minute. Child, I drink is Moscato. Just the cheap stuff. Child, just... I thought I had long days at work. I just picked me up a bottle of Moscato at the at the uh, gas station, child. A, um, a bottle of Moscato, a pack of gum, um, some honey roasted uh, peanuts. What else I begin? You know, the little confession food. They got little egg rolls and things. I may pick up a tea and go on out the door, child. Maybe a bag of chips or something. A meal. A meal for the next day. A meal. So, yeah. So, anyway. They got there. You know, the guy was handing out little hard biscuits. They was just like, oh, this is communion. And this moment here happened. I do not own the rights to this. I just really wanted to um, play this. I had to record it. Just amazing. Like, th this is why I love this show. You know, this is why I, you know, I just love, even though I'm a man, I just love sisterhood. And, um, because I just grew up with it with my mom and her sisters. Um, I just love singing. I love harmonies. I love girl groups. I, you know, I just love all that. So, all that just makes me love. The practice. I don't necessarily love the drama, but I mean, I guess you need it, right, for a show. But yeah, I just miss, you know, when they have those moments. I just really, you know, enjoy that, you know, for seeing them. Um, I don't necessarily like the drama, but like I said, I understand why it's there. But you know, hey, if it's real, it's real. Every every family go through stuff. They ju we just seen it on TV. Okay. Um. They had that moment um, a little later on after they left there. The men, um, they were sitting around, take you know, um, playing pool. And uh, Tracy husband had some good old dice and things, you know. Uh, Y'all, I don't know how to play nothing. I can't play pool. I can't uh, roll dice. All them little, you know, look a stole games. I don't know how to play none of them. Um, yeah, I mean. I guess I had the opportunity to learn at certain parts of my life. I just declined. Just won my it just won my gig. I don't know I don't know how to play nothing. All I know how to play is I declare war in Uno. <laughs> That's it. That's all I know how to play is I declare war in Uno. Anyway. So um that happened. And um, you know, they was just talking. Vaughn talked about how hard it is um to hold his woman as she cried over another man and you know, he was like, he could understand if it was a brother or cousin or something. Um, but the fact that this is your ex-husband, and you know, it was super difficult for him. And I can imagine, especially being new to the dynamic of the Braxtons and um, 
I guess not knowing, not understanding their relationship. It's a lot for a new man or if the roles was, was reversed, a new woman coming into a situation and still having such an emotional connection to your ex-significant other. That's a lot for a new person to take on. Um, but he had handled it with, with grace and pride and he did the right thing. Um, at the end of the day, Gabe passed away, um, unfortunately. And so whatever you're feeling, whatever kind of man, ego things that you're feeling, you have to let that go because this man has passed away. This is a real deep issue. Um, and you know, he was a part of the family at the end of the day. Yes, he was the ex-husband, but he was also a part of her family for a long time. So They talked about that. Um, what else they talked about? David, he talked about how he's going to invite um, Tamar to meet his mother. Sean thought that he meant that he was going to pop the question to Tamar. Um, it was just like, he was like, no, that's, that's not it. I'm not going to pop the question, but I am going to, you know, it, have him, you know, have her meet my mama and stuff. It was just like, oh, okay. So all of a sudden, Tamar just popped out, you know, the, the Woodward's nowhere. Just popped out and pulled Vaughn into a little, little room and asking him like a little child, what you doing? Where you been? What they say about me? Uh-huh. What you heard? And she's going to say on the camera, you know, I am just now, you know, introducing David to my entire family. You know, I don't want them to tell, you know, all these kind of stuff, everything about me. Like, no, you got to keep some stuff to yourself. And I was just sitting back watching and I was just like, tell me what you got to hide. What is the big deal? Like, they was just having man talk. They was just chilling. It was you know all of them are good people I get a good vibe from every single one of those guys so what what are you talking about and so you know he explained that you know um, Kevin Tracy's husband um, showed him how to play uh, dice and all that kind of stuff and she was just like what is you doing talking about you can't play dice and all that kind of stuff you can't be playing dice at your job and all this other kind of stuff and I'm just like Tamar you think that man's stupid enough to be playing dice and, and gambling and all that uh, right there at the job place? Like, come on. And, you know, he said at the camera, you know, she's just about protecting my image. Um, it's just as I would do the same thing for her. I, I don't understand um, Tamar as to why she got so offended, why she pulled him away from the rest of the guys. Um, I, I don't understand that. It was very rude. But Tamar's rude, you know. Um, I love Tamar, but she is. Shady, messy, all that at times. Um, so I, I just don't, I, I don't understand. Like, like, like David's so precious. He can't be tainted by the other husbands. What was they going to do to him on camera? Like, that was uh, talking about you have to be supervised. I understand that he might not understand certain stuff, a language barrier. But they was just having fun, um, Tamar, and they was mostly just talking, so what did you girl, please. Um, okay, so we get to the last little dinner. Um, you know, everybody's trying to figure out who's gonna say toast. Tamar did not want Tamar Tamar did not want Tony to say toast. Um, to say the toast um, so Kevin ended up doing it he was just like I want to say happy birthday to Tamar and Tracy and you know a few people kind of looked around a little crazy it was just like oh no you know you can't say Tracy's name and, the, and Tamar's name in the same sentence it's just like girl um, so Tamar she uh, one of her birthday gifts she got an invitation to um be in a hot air balloon she declined that excursion and I I would agree with her on that one I'm not one for the hot air balloons and jumping out of planes and things either so she was just like I don't like heights so this one worked for me and how would y'all think this would work for me and I was just like well I mean okay I ain't mad at her for that one she was just like I'm um, thank you but I politely declined you know maybe they would have said well we'll go with you or something maybe that would have made her feel more comfortable but you know that is yeah child you get up in the air and, and have a panic attack or something uh-uh no god 
Um, okay, so there's this tradition that I never really heard of and I would never do because if somebody put their hands in my cake, karate chop that quick. Um, but it, there's this whole tradition that she liked to do that, um, you know, you say one, two, three or whatever. You sing happy birthday and, and then um, each person take a piece off the cake with their hand. And um, they have to look at everybody and then they eat it. Which I think is the most unsanitary thing in, in the world. But whatever. Um, you know, apparently Tony Braxton, she coughed or she just stuck her finger in the cake or something. And as soon as it happened, Tamar was just like, nope, nope, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Nope, nope, nope. Tony was just like, well, what's wrong, Tamar? And, you know, Tamar was mad because Tony did not put her fingers or put her hand in the in the cake the way that it was supposed to be done or something. It, it was weird. It was weird and it was odd. Um, I was just like, Tamar, you are just really just something else. You, my God, just so attention seeking. Like, Lord Jesus. I was just like, what is the big deal? Like, first of all. Everybody already putting their nasty hands in the cake. Um, so what What did Tony do that was such a big deal? Because she coughed? Whoop-de-doo. What everybody else got on their hands? Hair? From the scalp? And from the pubes? Like, are you? Are we serious right now? We Are we playing? Are we playing? You touching on your mate? You got your hand on their arm? You know, you got your hand rested up the whole time? Um... You know, playing in each other's hair, you know, doing this, doing all kinds of, like, it's all kinds of situations. So, the, the waiters, the waitresses is coming out bringing y'all stuff. So, what, what are we talking about? How is one germ better than the other one? I mean, ultimately, ultimately, unless you, unless all of y'all stood in line to wash y'all hands, you don't know whose hands um, is truly clean or not. So, I was just like, Tamar, what is going on with you, girl? Tamar is a mess, child. She kind of, she, she got on my nerves real bad. I was like, what's the tea? Let me see. Try to actually show the scene of this. Let me play this. Not on the rights to this either, but let me play it. Play that again. I knew I was out of it that I didn't want to do it. That ass son of a gun. Are you a snake? And you like controversy and you like all of that. Now I don't know if that's it looked like that's Tracy talking to Tawanda. Now I don't know if she's talking about Tamar to Tawanda or if she's directing that towards Tawanda. I guess we're gonna see next episode. But they played it up like it's getting ready to show up. But nothing showed up on this on the ending of this episode. Next week, child, they're gonna end with a bang like these shows do. I'm just like, Lord. <sighs> We're going to see, but everything Tracy said about Tawanda, a lot of people say it's true. Tawanda stay in mess. She stay in the foolishness. You know, she try to act like she, you know, for the people. She really only just stands for Tony. And, you know, if, if Tamar's doing something for it at the time, she'll stand for Tamar. Everybody else. Hmm. That's, just, that's just what I heard. Um, Tamar going to say, um... My sisters got me, they saw me a happy birthday song. They got me an invitation to a place I don't want to go. They got me a card and they got me a cake. And she was just like, so I know there's more gifts coming. More gi What more do you need, Tamar? You just one big brother. Like, I don't understand spoiled people who just need more and more. What You got everything. What they need to get you? You got more money than some of your sisters. So what? what is going on? Shout a girl crazy. It, it's insane. Talking about this is the worst birthday ever. How? What was so bad about your birthday party, Tamar? Because your cake got ruined? Get another cake. 
Hell, you can walk downtown and go to a cake factory and get you a birthday cake. What is the problem? It's just, I, I can't. The, you know, the expectations of the Braxtons, it's just, you know, I don't know. It's not my life. One day it will be, maybe. But I just pray that I'm not, you know, like that. Because it's, it's, I can't, I can't. With that said, I, Mr. Chalaki, Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at It's Kingsborough on Instagram and Twitter. At It's Kingsborough 89 on Snapchat. Chase me on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. Run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. And next week is the season finale of Braxton Family Value Season 6. Ciao. It's going to be a mess. See you guys later.